Hi everyone, Dr. Joe Ferrantelli with Posture Code, developers of Posture Screen. So what we're gonna do here is go through a posture analysis exam known as a posture screen. I'm using an iPad uh, Pro third generation. Um, any of the newer devices, and we have that information available on the website, support augmented reality. And not the new base model iPad, however, an iPad Pro three, an iPad Pro fourth generation, iPad mini five, iPad Air 3. And if you're watching this video a year from now, there's probably gonna be newer devices too. So just go ahead and always email us for additional information. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do an augmented reality assisted posture exam. If you don't have access to this because either you're not on the unlimited assessment subscription or um, your device doesn't support it, that indicate in the app when you go ahead to do it. All the difference is, is that just like the older versions of posture screen, you're just gonna manually click all the points still extremely fast, okay? So this is how we go ahead and get started. So come on a little closer. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the menu. We can hit new screening here, or if we're in a client list here, we can hit new screening there. So if we hit new screening here, you get an exam list or an assessment list, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose posture screen. And at this point, you get the demographic information that we're gonna have to fill in, okay? And notice, a quick way to see if your device supports augmented reality or if you're not on a subscription, you just simply look at this where it says use augmented re reality assistance. If that's toggled off and you go to do it, guess what? It will tell you exactly what the issue is. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in this information here. And, and you could use the, the little picker here or you can just type in his, his height. You can also type in this and I'm going to give him a birth date. Okay. And it's always good to put, you know, put in a, an email address. I'm just going to use our official email address, Posture Co, like Posture Company. And at this point in time, you have a choice. Most people, if you're in a screening environment, a two view is sufficient. But if you're doing a clinical environment, we recommend doing all four views. In this tutorial, we're gonna do simply a two view assessment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera. As I point the device, notice that we have these horizontal lines here. For best practices, if you can get those to turn green, and notice that when you look at this, if you have baseboards, try to keep it horizontal if you can. Okay, so watch what we do. As soon as we come in here, notice that it, it tracked the person automatically. Go ahead and move a little bit for me. See how it tracks efficiently? Pretty cool stuff, right? So once he's in his neutral resting posture, you're just gonna go ahead and hit the camera, okay? And then what you're gonna do, this is important regardless if you're using augmented reality or not. You wanna drag this down to the top of their head, their skull, not if their hair is up here, you wanna come down to their skull because it's measuring their height, okay? And you come here, and then you're gonna hit next. And now he's turned to the side and what you wanna do is if, for, you wanna make sure there's no people behind there, otherwise it can track the wrong person. So we're gonna go ahead and click here, again, right here and right here. And then now all we have to do is hit start digitizing, right? Now I just wanna make a comment about this. The computer is not foolproof. It is your uh, responsibility as a professional or as a clinician to double check the points. While it's extremely good, you're gonna to have to correct and move the dots upon occasion, okay? Depending on lighting, depending on movement, things like that. So always keep that in mind. Think of it as your assistant, okay? So come on back this way. Let's see how the computer did. If I hit start digitizing, notice it did a fairly good job. It missed his knee a little bit, and missed his shoulder a little bit. So let's just go ahead and blow this up. I'm just gonna drag this down, okay? I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Okay, if I need to fix the knee. Now notice the reason why it got confused on the knees, quite simply, is because of the shorts, right? So it's trying to estimate based on the shorts. So you might wanna have that, you know, something to consider having tighter fitting shorts. The other thing is, is that always double check this point, make sure it's on the external auditory meatus. And you can bring this up, remember, the base center of the neck is where you should do even if they have a shoulder protraction. So this is something, a key point. 
Something that you have to train your staff in is that if they have shoulder protraction forward, the dot, and you're manually putting the dot, the dot needs to be at the base center of their neck at the height of the shoulder or at the height of the AC joint, okay? Because imagine if you just put it on the AC joint and they have shoulder protraction, well now my head might look like it's backwards, right? So keep that in mind and also, come on forward this way. Something to always keep in mind is, while we're looking at this, is you always wanna make sure that second view is always the patient or client is facing to the right side, your right side, okay? So always keep that in mind. And at this point we hit done. And now we're done. So if I was going to send this to um, the patient or if I was just gonna show them the results, I could go ahead and show them the results. I could scroll through, I could talk about their head weight. But if I wanted to send them their results, all I have to do is hit send to view PDF. And all I have to do is hit email. Okay, so what we're gonna do is hit email and then it will send from whatever address is your default address on your iPad or iPhone. You can blind carbon copy it to your, your staff. I have that all in settings how that is. And just know that you can totally customize all this verbiage if you're on an unlimited assessment subscription. So that's how you do it. And if you wanted to preview the PDF too, by the way, come in here and hit preview. Okay, and just know that you can change the colors, you can change the text, um, you can remove the Pasha screen logo, you can put your own logo, totally up to you. So you can totally customize Pasha screen to suit your needs. So that concludes our two view analysis with Pasha screen mobile. For more information, reach out to us at support at Thanks everyone.